<laughs> yes, Blubber, get it. Papa, we love playing inside, but we want to go outside as well. But Pixie, you're a ragdoll. You can't go outside. You have no sense of direction. What are we going to do? What can we do? We want to go outside. Well, what if I told you there was a way to do it? Uh, the plan is we're going to cat proof this balcony. I actually ordered a massive net that's going to cover this this huge gap on the balcony from the top, from the top to the bottom. And uh, the plan is to let the cats out. Oh my God, are you serious? Are we really gonna go outside on the balcony? Are we gonna watch the birds and everything? Yes, Pixie, we're gonna do it tomorrow because Papa's tired today. But everything came today. Why can't we go outside today? Pixie, you're gonna get lost. You have no sense of direction. You're a rag doll. Okay guys, so this is everything that we're going to need to cap proof the balcony. I already opened the net and uh, this is seven by two, I think. So it's uh, just enough to cover the whole gap on the balcony. And um, the reason I picked this one it's because this net isn't made out of one thin string. It's actually pleated here. So when the cats even jump on it, um, I'm hoping uh, that they won't cut their paws on it if they if they slide down. Um, we'll put it to this in a second to, so we'll, we'll find out if it's good or not. Um, that's that. And then we've got a couple more parcels. Okay, so this is a string or rope, this is, so this is the rope that's gonna hold everything together. This is going to go on the outline of the, um, of the net to keep it nice and secure so cats can go underneath it. There we go, nice and thick. There you go. Okay, and then there's one more. Bluebell, he's already testing. Ah, look, they're tiny. Okay, so these are the little hooks that will hold everything in place. Okay, let's go outside and cap proof this balcony. Bye, Bluebell. This is probably the last time you can't come out. I reckon half an hour and we'll have it done. Beautiful day to do it. They're both watching what I'm doing. <laughs> hey, Pixie. <laughs> okay, so uh, the plan is we're going to start with those 10 little hooks and I'm going to first put them in the corners up there down there and the same on the other side so we're just going to put those oh let me just get focused yeah so we're going to attach those in the corners I'm going to loosely hand the net on those hooks and then just spread the other uh, screws in between those to make it nice and sturdy okay so I run into a bit of an issue and um, because these hooks are so so tiny so if you can see it, let's get focus on it. Because they're so tiny, I'm finding I'm finding it really difficult to actually screw them in and get a gr good grip on it. So um, if you're going to buy some, definitely get something slightly bigger or invest in one of these bad boys. You can squeeze it in. There we go, and that should just hold it. Okay, so we've got three down. This is the last one to go. Okay. Okay, so now that I've got all the four corners ready, I'm going to hang the net just very loosely um, because I think that will help me thread the uh, rope through those little holes in the net and then we can cut it to the right size. Okay, so I think before I hang the whole net uh, on the initial four screws, I'm gonna need a couple just in the middle there because this is, this is over seven meters and the net it just won't hold on those four screws. Okay, this is it. This is, it's so thin that you can't even see it. I gotta put my hand behind it. It's here. Not too bad, not too bad. Oh, Bluebell! <laughs> he really wants to come out. <laughs> really wants to come out. It's not long now, not long now, guys. Okay, I'm, I'm really struggling to untangle this rope now. I let Bluebell play with this for two minutes and he did this. <laughs> I'm fi I think I'm halfway through it though. This is this is how I'm planning to thread this rope, and then the tension will be on the rope as opposed to the um, the net. Uh, the net isn't that thick, so I didn't want to put too much pressure on it. So 
that's why they're rope and the rope will keep it in place okay and then this is going to go through the hook there we go just like that pretty clever huh did you come up with this yourself yep this is actually bird net this net is used to cover trees uh, so birds don't lay any nests in the in the trees Just to clarify, it's not something that we um, would leave them with on their own. So like we wouldn't leave them outside without us actually being here. Uh, it's purely just for the times where when we're out on the balcony or if we just want to open the balcony a little bit when we're cooking or something. Oh, <laughs> and look at the pixie. Is she crying? Yes. Pixie. Pixie. Hey. <laughs> I'm kind of going to go back inside now. But I can walk. Cuddle you. She's going to cry. Yeah. See? Yeah. Yes, that's one end down. Honestly, not even joking. This took half an hour. <laughs> and you were like, oh yeah, the whole thing is going to take just <laughs> half an hour. <laughs> I've been sent on a mission. We need more hooks. <laughs> We only got 10 and it looks like we need more to, to get it all like attached. We don't need, we don't need a hundred. <laughs> we need another, I don't know, 20. Let's get 20. Okay, go on your mission. Bye. Hello, I am back from my mission. Um, I got the hooks and Mark is continuing with the net. It starts to get quite a nice shape. Uh, the kittens still look like they don't really know what's going on. Um, <laughs> hello, little chicken. Hello. Hey. Um, but they will be able to go no. outside soon. I can't read them myself. <laughs> <laughs> so, also... I locked myself out of it. Oh no, what are you going to do now? Well, I just need more of them. <laughs> Um, apparently I got some wrong ones and uh, they were a mixed pack of these and these these are the right ones these are the right wrong ones it should be half open Matt told me off <laughs> I didn't tell you off you got a mix okay so we are the final stage it's all hung up now this is looking pretty good and then we have Mon trying to do the end of it once we do the end of it, I've got all the hooks ready just to attach it and then we'll be ready to let the cats out. You excited? Yay! I think they are. <laughs> He's been sitting there all day. Bluebell! Yes, because it's only taken half an hour. <laughs> He's been sitting there all day. <laughs> it's it's 7 p.m. now. Look how careful she is. She's so hesitant. <laughs> Bluebell? She's like, can I really? Can I really go out? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that tail. Look at that tail. <laughs> Pixie! Oh, Bluebell! Bluebell! Hey! <laughs> He's not sure. <laughs> Look at the tail! <laughs> oh my god! You got quite fluffy, lady! I think she's happy! <laughs> Look at her! <laughs> she was just rolling! Oh, 
happy. Mm. Okay, guys, it's getting pretty late. Uh, it's uh, seven thirty, and this this little half an hour project took uh, more than <laughs> more than half an hour. Let's just say. Yeah. So what we're going to do for today? We're going to let cats um, stay a little bit on this uh, wooden space here, and uh, tomorrow we'll bring out the uh, cat tree. Um, it's getting pretty cold right now, so I'm not gonna bring it out now because uh, we're also going to lose the sun in a second. So we couldn't wait until tomorrow, or actually Matt couldn't. <laughs> and look what happened. Look at them, they're so happy. Look at Pixie. She's just going from, from left to right. <laughs> Pixie! <laughs> She's so happy, look at that tail. Pixie! Oh! Is he biting? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's already biting on it. Bluebird, stop. I think he's got it after you. He likes to <laughs> test it. <laughs> test he's testing. <laughs> and see if it can be broken. <laughs> Bluebird. Okay, well, it's holding him. Well, it's holding him. Oh, thinks he's hard enough. Are you going back? <laughs> no chance. <laughs> That's my paper ball. <laughs> you didn't aim that properly, did you? He's like, what do you mean it didn't work? <laughs> okay, so it's second day of Casey's exploring the balcony. Uh, we brought out the cat tree so they can jump around a little bit more. Uh, they feel a little bit unsure at times. Um, they seem to get a little bit like, maybe not scared, but like very interested in different sounds. But they are really, really happy as well. Like, look at it. <laughs> they love all the berries and stuff. Oh, see, she was so happy to be on the balcony. <laughs> <laughs> she meows a lot. She does that when she's happy, and she also flops. Yeah. We let the kitties stay on the balcony for a little bit longer, um, but we'll end the video here. Make sure to check their Instagram at Pixie and Bluebell, um, and you can see a little bit more videos of them running around as well and exploring. Also, you can find links to everything that we use to make this um, in the description below. Say bye!